How do you do? I'm Matthew Kelly. I'm in Toast by Richard Bean at the Park Theatre in Finsbury Park, right by the tube station, top of the Piccadilly line. I'm in Toast it's by Richard Bean, who wrote uh, Great Britain, that's on at the National Theatre now, and One Man, Two Governors, for which he is immensely famous, and quite rightly so. Uh, it's about six blokes in a bakery in Hull in 1975 that uh, is just about to be finished and all their lives probably with it. And it's based on his experiences, he's from Hull and he's a real proper person as well. Uh, so all the dialogue is based on what he's heard. It's very funny, it's very moving, it's very poignant and uh, it'll give you a good laugh and make you think. I play a character called Nelly who, uh, uh, that's not a comment on his sexuality, it's actually short for Walter Nelson. And Walter Nelson, has lived, uh, he's been in this bakery for 45 years, since he was about 14. And he's, um, he's old, before his time, he's finished, but this is his life. And he's the one who's going to be the most affected. And actually, he's the emotional heart of the play. But he's slow and he's, he's a bit sad, but you won't feel sad for him by the time I finish with it. <laughs> this is set in 1975, it's between the three day week and the winter of discontent. It was, uh, it was a tricky time. I was there the first time around, yeah. But I've got a bus pass now, so I don't mind. So worth waiting for, you're gonna love it. How does this play relate now? I think plays from 1975 are particularly relevant now, and particularly with the government we've got. I'm not being political here, but uh, yeah, I am. Toast is on at the Park Theatre. It's a brand new theatre. It's only been opened a year. It's, a two, it's in the 200-seater, so it's very intimate. It's almost voyeuristic, very close at hand. It's a very funny play. It's a very moving play. It's poignant, and people will find things that they'll recognise in it. But it will make you laugh a lot, but ooh, watch out for the end.